Buckle your mind, Dean, because it's about to get blown. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this exciting video. I finally am going to get to this album. I know a few of you have been pestering me on the emails and the messages and the comments below, and that's earned, well earned on my behalf because I've been reacting to the Mars Volta for like over two years, I think, and I've been reacting to each entire album. The approach I took on some of the albums is I, re I would do uh, a few songs in one afternoon and then do other music and then get back to it. This album I'm going to react to in one sitting as I'm seated here in front of you in my studio with Prog Dog. Sharky's here too. Hey, Sharky. So uh, they've been through this all with me, with through thick and thin. They're just as excited as you and I are to finally to listen to this album. So, Tourniquet. Let's just dive right in, really. Uh, I, if you don't know, I've already reacted to Did the Louse in the Corp Comatorium. I did the all in sequence. Then I did Francis the Mute. Then I did Amputecture. Then Bedlam and Goliath. And then Octahedron. So, without further ado, let's just jump right in. Track one. As with most of my reaction videos, I usually don't stop the song. I usually play it right through, but I will make some comments here and there through the song and save up a bit for the end of the song and make some comments at the end as a summary and then go right back into the next track. All right, so here we go.
Whoa. Now, I haven't done this, but maybe I should do this more often. I maybe rate the track as in how I felt about it during the original first time listening to it, right? Because that could change over time. But I would definitely say that was a 9, 9.5 out of 10 because that was, uh, it was just so freaking original and just out of this world. It's like, you know, someone took me on a UFO and I'm like, and flying me through the universe and I go, whoa, this is great. Like it's, it's that, it's that exciting. I loved that song. I loved the, the synth silent synth they're using on it. Like a really kind of fat kind of analog synth, very kind of zzz, zzz, buzzy alien almost. And then uh, the vocals are just fantastic. And um, I love the vocals and um, the words, of course, uh, step on me. I'm a, uh, landmine or whatever that's that's a cool <laughs> i like that that's really playful and district descriptive anyways i don't want to hold this show up too long i want to keep going and let's go on to track number two aegis that's cool my brother has a company it's called aegis
All right. So if we're going to keep going with this numbering system, I'd say seven and a half so far uh, initially on that track, seven and a half. That was a very thrashy chorus. Um, I liked the composition. There was a, a way that the, it was moving around a little bit as far as the chords progression. I really liked a lot. The snare work was really unique. That made the song really interesting. And the guitar work was just wild. I mean, the guitar is, that's going on is very, very, uh, it's very bright guitar, you know, uh, like I say, slashy kind of feeling um, or thrashy, sort of aggressive. I mean, they, they often sound kind of aggressive, right? Track three, Dyslexicon, and here we go. Second that I fell in love 
Ooh. That was cool. I would give that an eight, eight and a half out of ten. Uh, first listen. Really like that song. Uh, what I liked about it, well, just at the end there, how they were screwing around with the time signature. That was really fun. Um, the whole song is like tamed or barely reined in chaos. And that's a general quality of this band in general. They just sort of sound um, it's sort, of, sort of like a, a machine that's operating and its nuts and bolts are almost going to pop out and the whole machine's going to fall apart. This is the way they, the, the Mars Volta seems to operate to me, uh, which is really uh, great. I love that energy. I love that, um, that uh, yeah, just that energy, sort of like riding a wild bronco when you listen to the Mars Volta. Uh, this album's very energetic so far, very, uh, very f- chock full of um, just everything, uh, creativity. So uh, yes, I'm ra- rating this very high so far. The drums, I haven't mentioned the drums so far, very uh, appropriate drummer for the, who uh, really, you know, he's really channeling exactly what the Mars Volta are all about, this drummer. Um, for part two of this exciting React video, click the link the top left part of the screen and also the link is in the description below. For the exciting conclusion to this video, click the link in the top left of the screen for part two of this React. It's also uh, linked in the description box below.